Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ali and in this video, we're going to talk about working with transitions. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Now, there are various ways of applying transition effects between every other scene. And so the first one is the common standard way that is provided by uh, Creative Studio Pro by using their uh, one of their pre-made certain transitions. So once you've built up your first scene, what you need to do is go ahead and click on Studio and then click on Transitions. And there you're gonna find a bunch of transitions in different categories that you can choose from and then add them between your scenes. So I'm not gonna demonstrate that, it's self-explanatory. Um, so what I'm gonna do next up is I'm gonna work with you on applying custom animation to a transition between two different backgrounds. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on backgrounds and we're inside of the three back, 3D backgrounds. So I'm gonna choose this um, you know, wooden cabin and I'm gonna go ahead and get my character. And I was Harry. I'm going to position him where I wanted him to be and where I'm going to keep the same action as wave, but I'm going to go ahead and expand the animation for the duration of my background and keep in mind that when working with backgrounds, it doesn't matter if this background has multiple elements or consists of one layer. Uh, as long as you have them all in one group, you are able to animate them the way you want to all together without any problem. So now that I have built up my first scene, I'm going to go ahead and select both layers, the background and the character, right click and then group. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this one and call it scene one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my second background. So I'm going to go back to backgrounds uh, and then pick this kid's room background. And then what I'm going to need to do is to move this background and I'm going to get it away of my canvas, but just make sure it's lined up with my canvas frame like that. And then I'm going to zoom out and zoom in on this one because I'm going to need to go ahead and add my 3D character. Let's go ahead and add the baby. Oops, it looks like it's uh, right there. So let's zoom out again, zoom in under this uh, background, resize this baby. And then I'm gonna get my character where I want him to be. And I'm gonna change the action from wave to playing with a toy. I'm also gonna expand the animation for the duration of the background like that make sure i position him exactly where i want him to be and i'm gonna go ahead and exit and go back to my canvas select both the second background and my baby character right click group and then right click again on the group and call this scene two so next up what i'm going to need to do is to go ahead and shift this group a little to the right side like that and then i'm going to need to go ahead and apply some custom animation to transition between those two scenes or two backgrounds um easily so i'm going to go ahead and move my playhead where the second background is about to start like that and then i'm going to go ahead and add custom animation so go to properties choose position easing and that would be linear for both in and out and so the first key frame is where our background is centered in the uh, on the canvas right now and then on the second key frame i want to position my background on the right side outside of my canvas so let's go ahead and do that right now and move it to the left side i'm sorry i need to make sure it's lined up you know with my canvas frame as well. So now that I've done this, I'm going to need to choose change or, or move my second keyframe like that just to slow the animation a little bit. All right, and then next up is I'm going to go ahead and add custom animation 
to the second background. So I'm going to click on it, click add animation, and then I'm going to go to properties, choose position, easing, linear, and then I'm going to click on my first keyframe and make sure that this one, again, is lined up with my canvas right here. And then I'm going to click on my second keyframe. And then center it on my canvas just like that. Now you need to make sure that both keyframes on both layers are exactly the same match. This is very important if you want to achieve this effect. Now, as you can see here, by moving my playhead, there's still, you know, a little bit of a space in between both backgrounds. That's why we need to go ahead and, and move the first back, you know, a keyframe of the background here and line it up with the second keyframe. So if I go ahead and play this, Now you can see that we have transitioned between two backgrounds um, easily using custom animation. Next up, we're going to go ahead and transition between video clips and uh, show you exactly what that looks like. Now, in a previous video, I have used nine clips, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm only going to use four clips. So for the sake of this video, I've already downloaded some of the clips that I have in my files. And I'm going to drop this to my canvas and then resize it like that and then i'm going to go ahead and grab my second clip i'm also going to resize it and line it up with the first clip and then i'm going to go ahead and add my third clip and resize this guy as well And let's go ahead and grab our fourth clip and resize this one. So now that we have, you know, four clips, notice in the timeline, we have, you know, a couple of those clips that are a little bit longer than the rest. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the first one, and then I'm going to line it up in the same layer. And I'm also going to do the same for the second clip and duplicate it and also line it up on the same layer. Right click, remove excessive tracks or excess tracks, and then I'm going to resize or shorten my clips so that they can all match the same duration. Select all three make sure they're all matching. So next up is to go ahead and apply some camera effect by going into components, drop the camera or drag it and drop it into the canvas. Now that we have our camera effect ready to be animated. Now I want you to think of the way or working with camera effects as the way you think of keyframes. You have a starting point and you have an ending point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and double click here on the can on the canvas in the camera timeline so I can add my first um, you know keyframes for the first clip so I'm just leaving you know a little bit of um, space here for the video to play on the first clip and I'm going to go ahead and resize it to match the size of my first clip and then I'm going to move my playhead right after the instance of the camera and then also resize it. And I'm going to move it to the right side on the second clip like that. And then I'm going to keep, you know, a little bit of time in between both. I'm going to double click again to add another animation for my camera. And this time I want to get my camera to move, you know, to the bottom on the third clip. So I'm going to, I need to make sure that I move my playhead right after the instance of the animation of the camera and move it to the bottom like that. 
and then leave a little bit of time, maybe a second or two, double click to add another one. And notice I moved, you know, this because I want to get it before my playhead so I can, you know, define where it needs to be. And then I'm going to get my camera effect where it was on the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Shorten this a little and let's go ahead and play this and see what that looks like. Easy stuff. Now, there's one thing to keep in mind that camera effects has easing effects as well that you can apply to. So if I go ahead on the first one and I right click it, I can choose the easing and then I can make it linear in and out. I can do the same for this one easing, right click, linear, in and out. And then I'm going to click on a third one, choose easing, linear, in and out. And then let's go ahead and play this again. So this is how you can transition between video clips or scenes using camera effect. Next up is we're going to go ahead and transition between different scenes using custom animation and camera effect. So let's go ahead and show you that. Now, this is going to be a little bit more advanced um, animation type. It looks kind of similar like the promo video I created for my course that I'm working on. So let me go ahead and uh, do that. So the first thing I want to go uh, do is uh, click on studio and get some of the backgrounds here. So I'm going to start with this one and grab my background and I'm going to resize it. Now for this one, I'm going to need to use nine different scenes. So I'm going to resize it so that I can have nine different scenes in one canvas. And then we're going to animate, you know, all together using custom animation. So let's go ahead and pick, you know, a few backgrounds that we currently have. Let's choose this office. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize it. Like that, make sure that they're all lined up together. Now we might need to, you know, scale this down a little so that we have enough space for all nine scenes together in um, one canvas. All right, let's go ahead and get, grab our third scene and resize this one. Now for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to speed this up. Now that I have my nine scenes ready on my canvas, next up is I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, a character for each scene. So I'm going to speed this up for the sake of the tutorial. All right, now that I've got everything covered and I've added nine different characters in all scenes and I've used some of the new characters that Create Studio has just added recently because I love them so much and I uh, really hope that you guys are enjoying them. Um, so the first step for me was to go ahead and group all these together. So when I apply some custom animation, they all move, you know, smoothly uh, without any problem. Now, the first step for me is to go ahead and add, you know, um, custom animation. But before doing that, um, I need to zoom out of my... Um, canvas here and then I'm going to expand this so I can have my you know my focus on one scene on that lady just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and add my custom animation so I'm going to click on add animation go to properties choose position and 
choose easing linear for both. And then I'm going to click on my first keyframe. Click on my canvas. This is going to be my starting point. And then I'm going to click on my second um, keyframe and then move this so I can have my movement on the second scene. Like that. And then I'm going to slow this down just a little. And then I'm going to move my playhead a little and then add another animation. And that would be position, scale, go to easing, choose linear for both. Click on my first keyframe and click on my canvas. This is my starting point for the second keyframes. And I'm going to click on my second keyframe here, zoom out, and then I'm going to scale this down until I have all scenes, you know, all the nine scenes together in one scene. And then I'm going to slow this down by expanding the duration between both keyframes. And let's go ahead and play this and see what that looks like. So this was a little bit fast. Let's go ahead and slow this down a little and play this from the beginning. And there you have it. This is how you can transition between uh, different scenes using custom animation. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.